Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of medicine and in this video we'll be talking about CEA test. CEA test is Carcio Embryonic Antigen Test and it's used in many cancers but it's a non-specific biomarker. It's a glycoprotein that is involved in cell adhesion and it's produced in multiple cancers, for example, in colorectal pancreatic gastric breast and medullary thyroid carcinomas. But we are mainly using it for colorectal and pancreatic cancers. It can also be elevated in other inflammatory disorders, for example, in inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatitis, cirrhosis, hypothyroidism, even it can be elevated in smoking. That's why we are saying it non-specific biomarker. A high CEA at initial presentation of known cancer is associated with a less favorable prognosis because it indicates that there is a greater tumor burden. However, it does not guarantee tumor burden and should not be used to prognosticate outcomes or to guide therapy. Instead, the CEA level should be tracked after therapy with chemotherapy and or surgical resection. Once the tumor is removed, CEA levels should return to normal. A persistent elevation may suggest incomplete removal of a tumor. It will cause tumor burden and we'll see high levels of CEA. A resurgence of CEA may indicate recurrence. So as a summary, it's a non-specific serum glycoprotein that is found in excess in patients with colorectal carcinoma. Also, we are using it mainly for pancreatic cancers. And CEA levels are often drawn prior to surgery to establish a baseline level and to put future CEA levels in context. But its levels may be elevated in systemic disease, but it's not specific enough to confidently inform which disease. And it's also not specific enough to confirm a cancer diagnosis. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you on the next video.